Okay, here we go. Well, I don't know why I said here you go, but here you go. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to talk with you about the fear of failure, but I actually want to reword it and call it how to fail. Yes, I want you to fail. Why not? Did you know that most people don't go after their dreams because it makes them feel uncomfortable? It makes them put themselves out there. And of course, it's going to create that doubt. And the biggest thing is, is they're seriously so afraid of failing. I know that I have had many moments in my life where I was like, I would do that, but, but I think I'm just, I'm not gonna be able to, to do it. I'm not gonna be good at it. I'm, I'm, so instead of trying, I'm good. I'm, not, I'm just not gonna go there because it stirs up negative emotions in me. It makes me feel weird. It makes me feel not worthy. Does that happen to you? Okay, so ask yourself real quick, just ask like, what things do I want in my life that, that I've always been scared of trying? And, and I know I want them so bad. I know that they're gonna make me a better person. They're going to make me feel more confident. Uh, what is it that you have been scared of trying? Because it is just fear in our heads. Um, just because you don't wanna fail. And life's too short to not do those scary things. Life's too short to be afraid and let things, thoughts in our heads hold us back. So no regrets, okay? And, and let's get ready to move forward. All right, the first thing that you're going to do is analyze the potential outcomes. So let's say you're going to start something new or you're going to finally be brave enough to take that class, to start that business, whatever it is that you wanna do in your life. Analyze the outcomes. So kind of like the, if I did this, then what would happen? If I did this, this would happen, okay? So if I decided to uh, move to a new town, is a lion going to eat me? Probably not. <laughs> Will it be scary? Yes, but what can happen is so many awesome things. You can make so many friends, you can move into the house that you want, you could experience a whole different life. I'm just saying, what are the outcomes? If I decided to start my business, what could happen? I could spend more time with my kids. I could be in charge of my own schedule. I could finally do what I'm passionate about. Those are awesome outcomes. Instead of saying, I could fail, I could suck, that's not serving you. That's not helping you become the best person that you can be, right? And having a courageous, positive mindset. I want you to have that awesome, positive mindset and be brave enough to do what other people aren't brave enough to do. You are different. You are working on yourself. Okay, so analyze the outcomes. Number two is learn to think more positively. So a lot of the times when people are scared, they're going to fail, they start to get down on themselves and they're like, they're kind of like Eeyore, you know what I mean? I want you to be more like Tigger. I always say that, that analogy. I don't know, my husband and I like Winnie the Pooh. We read a lot of those books when my daughter was little, so we're always like, what do you want to be? You know what I mean? I mean, Piglet's even more exciting than Eeyore, but Eeyore was always like, it'll never happen. It's a gloomy day, da 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 da. Don't be Eeyore, no one likes Eeyore. I'm just saying, sorry Eeyore. But Think positively, think, you know what? At least I'm going after my dreams because like I said, you don't wanna have regrets. At least I'm trying, at least I'm learning about myself when I put myself out there, when I'm willing to fail, when I'm willing to try new things, okay? So have a positive outlook and think, you know what? This is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna take this class. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what other people aren't willing to do. I mean, really give yourself that love and that attention and, and be positive because That'll keep you on track because look at, I always say this, it's like a body behavior, it's like body too. When you're like, yes, I can do this. Your chin is up, your body language, you're excited and it's not fake and phony, but try it right now. When you say to yourself, I can do this. Oh my gosh, I'm excited, yay, right? Instead of, oh gosh, this is gonna be hard. I might discover things about myself that I didn't know. How cool is that? Okay, all of a sudden I got excited again. It's about your attitude, so have a positive mindset. Oh! I get excited about that. <laughs> Number three is look at the worst case scenario. You know, if you're like, if I try this, what's the worst that can happen? If I decided to step out of my comfort zone, what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is probably not disastrous and terrible. You're probably not gonna die. I always tell people that. I'm like, if you try, you're probably not gonna die. But what you're probably going to do is become more confident, become happier, be finally, live your life on purpose, maybe discover your passion, uh, probably become a better mom, person, wife, girlfriend, friend, sibling. That's the thing, when you go after your dreams, 
you are doing things, once again, that other people aren't willing to do. So you need to give yourself some props and think, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, probably not something bad, probably something pretty amazing. So awesome things happen on the other side of fear. And so I want you to make sure that you think of the worst case scenario and you're like, Psh, piece of cake, I got this. Okay, so you've got some homework today. You've got some homework until you get my next video. I want you to think about the things that you are scared of. Why are you afraid of failing? What are you afraid of? And more importantly, what are you afraid of going after? You know, why are you scared of going after your dreams? I want you to think about that and then think how you can epically fail this week. What can you do that has been that thing tugging at your heart and, and in your head and in your thoughts and you're like, I really wanna do it, but I'm scared. I want you to go and try it this week. I want you to fail epically. I don't really want you to fail, but what I want you to do is go after it because you'll never know. And the coolest thing is, is when you actually do that thing and it works out and you're like, duh, I could have been doing this the whole time. But that's what life's all about. It's about creating ourselves, evolving, learning, changing, and growing and becoming more confident.